South Pacific Ocean, halfway between Hawaii and New Zealand. The adoption and evolution of Samoan culture from outside influences can be found strongly in the game of Kill of Duty. Samoans are a very social and friendly people with a deep reverence for the extended family, clan and village ties. A score like this? It's cricket unlike one you may know it. can be traced to the game of cricket but it was introduced either by the English missionaries or by the visit of the British Royal Navy vessels which bought the game to Samoa many years ago Kilikidi is a popular sport played among Pacific Islands and it's now played all over the world although discouraged by the colonial Germans in the early 1900s because of the week-long traditional games. The British game was encouraged by the New Zealand administration in the 1920s and introduced to Samoan schools. Since this time, not too much is known of organized cricket in the islands. But the game soon took on its own identity to suit the temperament, attitude and lifestyle of the locals. The game of Kilikidi has been shaped and evolved to satisfy the Samoan way of life. It is played all year round usually between teams from different villages. Unlike cricket, Kilikidi is full of singing dancing in colorful uniforms with mixed gender team members from all age groups it is played all year round usually between teams from different villages the large number of fielders ensures that batters don't last long and the game only stops when the ball gets lost unlike limited overs cricket the game of Kilikudi does not have a fixed number of overs. 
Rather the team batting second gets the same numbers of balls that were required by the bowling side to get them out. In short the game is used as bringing communities together for one long party. There is a batting team and a fielding team, and a pitch. Sometimes of concrete. While the first two batters go to bat the rest of the team sit just outside the field with their many colorful bats. They dance, sing and chant to encourage the batters. The fielding team bowls from either end. At any one time there are two bowlers. Depending which end the ball is hit by the batsman accordingly. There are two wicket keepers. Players are not protected by any padding or masks. All players must wear a wrap around material worn instead of pants, called lava lava. A la lava lava is daily clothing traditionally worn by Polynesians and other oceanic peoples. It is worn by men and women in uses from school uniforms to business attire with a suit jacket and tie. Many people of oceanic ethnicity wear the lava lava as an expression of cultural identity and form of comfort. The ball is made of a very hard rubber, a form of a plant. The Kilikuli bat is generally made from wood of the hibiscus or breadfruit tree and can measure up to one meter long. A cross between a baseball bat and a war club. Similar to cricket, in the game of Kilikuli there are umpires as well. Kilikiti umpires carry a whistle and two flags or signs of white and red to communicate. No one except the captain is to argue or speak to the umpire. A batsman can get out in four different ways if they are bowled out, if they are caught if they are run out. If they are leg before wicket, you can also be out if you throw or drop your bat, if you argue with the umpire. The rules of Kilikuti are flexible. Indeed, the majority of reports written on the game simply say that the rules can only be known by those playing. The rules of Kilikuti are similar to those of cricket, but in recent times the game of Kilikuti have been cut to a television friendly 70 minutes. Also adding the scoring of 4s and 6s. Throughout the rest of the Pacific, a Kilikuti green is a standard feature in the village. Over the years Kilikiti has become a well-known sport in the Pacific and has spread to countries around the world. Today that passion for Kilikiti continues no matter where Pacific peoples choose to migrate. From America to Australia, regular Kilikiti competitions are held between church, village and island groups. 
with the growing number of inter-village, inter-church and trans-Tasman competitions. Kalikini is on the road to becoming a professional sport.